Welcome to SAP ERP Quality Management Course. Lecture number one, how to create qualitative inspection characteristic. Presented by Mohammed Akib Sheikh, SAP QM Lead. We advise you before watching this video you must read about glossary of lecture number 1 so that you can understand each and every step of this transaction. After login into SAP, you can see here SAP menu. The quality management is the part of a logistics, so we will expand logistics folder by clicking on it. Here you can see different SAP modules such as material management, sales and distribution, logistic execution, production and plant maintenance, etc. Now select quality management folder and click to expand it. You can see here quality management functions, quality planning, quality inspection, quality certificates, quality notification, quality control, test equipment management and stability study. Now click on the quality planning folder. Then expand basic data folder. Here you can see basic data subfolders such as catalog, inspection characteristic, class characteristic, inspection method, sample. Before you create a quality inspection plan and record inspection results, basic SAP master data for quality inspection planning should be maintained. We are going to create master inspection characteristic for quality inspection plan. So click on inspection characteristic folder. These are called transaction codes or T codes. QS21 is used to create inspection characteristic. QS22 is used for create version. QS23 is used for change. QS24 is used to display. QS28 is used to display list of inspection characteristics. QS25 is used for delete. QS26 is used for where use list. QS27 is for replace. Now double click on the T code QS21. Or write this code in command bar and press enter key. A new window will be opened. Create master inspection characteristic initial screen. First you will enter plant where you want to create inspection characteristic. What is plant? In logistics, a plant is an organizational unit for dividing an enterprise according to production, procurement, maintenance and materials planning. A physical place where materials are produced or goods and services are provided. We will enter plant code here. Then enter alphanumeric code for master inspection characteristic. An inspection characteristic describes what is to be inspected, that is, the inspection requirements for materials, parts and products. To simplify and standardize inspection planning, you can define master inspection characteristics that you can use in various task lists. When you create a master record, you can enter your own alphanumeric identifier. If you do not enter an identifier, the system automatically assigns the master record a number from the predefined number range. We will enter alphanumeric identifier for inspection characteristic. 
Now we will enter valid from date. Valid from date specifies the start date for the validity period of an object, such as material, bomb, or routing. What is class characteristic? If you want to know about this term, select this field and press F1 key from your keyboard to get the information and definition about this field. You can create inspection characteristic by using template for copy from other MIC. After completion of entries in these mandatory fields, press enter key from your keyboard or press enter key icon. A new window will be opened. Create master inspection characteristic, general data. If you enter a control key in this field while creating an inspection characteristic, the predefined control indicators will be copied into the inspection characteristic. Control indicators of inspection characteristic in SAP QM are settings that determine how the inspection of a specific quality characteristic should be carried out during the quality inspection process. These indicators help define the type of inspection, the frequency of inspection, and the acceptance criteria for the inspected characteristic. In this case, we will assign control indicators manually. Under the Control Data heading, you will mark Check on Qualitative checkbox. Qualitative inspection characteristic are used to specify characteristics that cannot be measured numerically, such as physical and visual appearance or odor. Qualitative MICs define the acceptance criteria for the characteristic and the methods to be used to evaluate it, such as a visual inspection or a sensory test. Under the General Information heading, we will choose Released and Incomplete Copy Model options for Status field. This status indicates that the MIC has been released for inspection and is available for use. Press F1 key from your keyboard and read the information about Status field. In Short Text field, you will write here Inspection Characteristic Name. For example, Physical Appearance, color, description, etc. Search field. Copy the name of inspection characteristic and paste it in this field for search term. If the text of inspection characteristic is longer than 40 characters, you can create long text here. Now press enter key from your keyboard. A new window will be displayed. Here you can set control indicators or parameters for qualitative inspection characteristic. You will mark check in characteristic attribute box and press F1 key to get information about characteristic attributes, selected sets, codes and code group. We will discuss about these terms in upcoming lectures. Now you will mark the check in sampling procedure. Press F1 key and read the information about sampling procedure. Under the Results Confirmation heading, we will choose Summarized Recording and Required Characteristic by Marking Checks. What is Required and Optional Characteristic? Press F1 key and get the information about these fields. Then click on Continue button or press Enter key from your keyboard. You can see here that some checks have already been marked by default. There is no need to change these, then press continue button. You can set these control indicators or parameters according to your testing requirement. Now click on the save icon to save the inspection characteristic. Congratulations! You have done it. Thank you. This is the end of lecture number 1. In lecture number 2 we will learn how to create numeric or quantitative inspection characteristic.